Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Right off the bat, so pumped for this video. I just saw this, but I believe it came out a couple days ago. The new community manager put out um, a dev update overview. And one thing I like about this a lot is he kind of highlighted the dev video, but he also gave us exclusive viewpoint on some topics, I guess you could say. So, um, right off the bat, they say, Next update, we're getting five new prototype defenses. I'm so happy. You guys have no idea. Prototype defenses are a lot of fun to mess around with. And you know what this means, guys. Every troop versus prototype. I'm going to be doing every troop versus every single one of these five prototypes. So get ready because it's going to be a blast. I'm hoping we're going to get some cool stuff out. Anyway. Um, besides that, um, they kind of also mentioned the sniper tower prototype that can shoot through smoke that we've been kind of talking about. It looks like it is going to be a single shot and it's going to target units that have the least HP. So it's going to have a priority targeting system, which is pretty cool. It means tank medic players can lose medics. Yeah, I had to check medics have less HP than tanks. Medics do have less HP than tanks. I'm not a team med player, so had to check. But it looks like tank. it's made to t target smoky tank medic players. I don't see it being used. We need to see what the firing rate's going to be, because if it shoots every second, it's going to... It might... I don't know if it's gonna hurt. It also depends on the range of this prototype, but it has the potential to hurt Smoky Warriors. It probably will not hurt AZ players or Smoky Hookah players because there's just so many Zookas for it to make a difference. It kind of depends at its firing rate also. Also, uh, they talked about Mega Crab. I love this so much. I'm so happy. I'm One, I'm happy they made this overview, and two, I'm happy the way they're bringing out monthly mega crab every single month at the end of the month it's going to be a weekend so two to three days we're going to get mega crab um each mega crab will bring a unique reward that can only be earned that month and we'll have a unique theme no two mega crabs will be the same i love this so much like the main reason i like this so much is no two mega crabs are going to be the same. That means it's not going to have a cycle. It's going to be f so much fun. So maybe Halloween, they'll bring out a mega crab that's Halloween themed. Christmas, they'll bring out a mega crab that's Christmas themed. Um, and, and so forth. They have so many options they can do here. And it's insane. I can't wait for it. And also, we're going to get a unique reward that can only be earned that month. Guys, I'm so freaking happy. You have no idea how happy I am by that one line. That's my favorite part. That's going to be my favorite part. I love it so much. So, if you guys don't know how it's going to work, here's kind of my view of probably what's going to happen. Uh, just following Boom Beach and kind of being able to predict stuff. Uh, like, we don't have any news on this. This is just my view of it. That's what I'm trying to say. So... I believe, I need to make sure I don't lose here, I'm not using warriors, I can't be sloppy. Um, and we'll drop a critter, this is not going to work, uh, oh man, we one shot it so we were fine, but that could have been nasty. Um, here's how I think it's going to work, top 100 or so, or top 1000 global are going to get rewards, so it's going to be very very hard for a player who does not have maxed offense or at least maxed offense that is going to be useful during mega crab so uh zookas tanks scorchers um uh, heavies it's going to be extremely hard for those players to get this reward which i love um not because i want to see lower level players just being rejected that's not the reason why the reason i like this so much is um okay i want to attack but i can't attack using az and focus at the same time we can do this space um it, it's just 
rewards are it's just it's targeting higher level players which we needed something like there's nothing in boom beach that targets higher level players and in all honesty a player can get maxed out in boom beach in like a year and a half now so like offense wise they can easily get there and it just takes a little bit of effort and that's kind of what boom beach needs something for higher level players now i hope i mean it still would be fun but i'm kind of hoping it's not this way where boom beach will put you in a team of maybe a hundred people around your level and you guys would battle out and top player would get a reward okay maybe not that would be pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Not that I say it out loud, but I just I don't see it being that way. I'm seeing it more like top 100 or maybe even top 10 players will get a reward. And if it's top 10 globally, I'm not even gonna get it. <laughs> like uh, there's no way I'm gonna get it. Top 100, I have a little bit better of a chance to get uh, top 100 global, but still that's insanely hard. Um, and it's gonna go to players who just who who know how to attack, who know how to attack Mega Crab, which is good and it kind of sucks if I can't get a reward because I need to get, I want to get one, I want to get a reward here, so I'm gonna try my best to get something. But anyway, that's kind of how I see this whole monthly Mega Crab playing out. Honestly, it doesn't look too. It's it's gonna look, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Like you might have your doubts now, but wait till it comes out. Still, even if you can't get a reward, it's still gonna be a mega crab that you can play and attack, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. As for how we're gonna cover mega crab um, on our channel, I don't know yet. Obviously, the first mega crab is coming out at the end of March. So they said the last weekend of March. I mean the last weekend of every month. So that's either gonna be the 24th, 25th, or it's gonna be kind of a Saturday and then the first of um, April. So um, I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's the first of April, April 1st. <laughs> I'm hoping it's like the first uh, the 31st of March. And April 1st I'm hoping that's kind of where it lies because I'm gonna be kind of stressed out next week because I have a swim meet all week long um, so anyway that's kind of my thoughts on the matter and uh, Jimmy should cover us if I can't really cover mega crab I'm gonna I'm gonna try you guys I'm so excited I'm gonna try during mega crab once more kind of what my old days was um, I don't know globally how I would stand up, but uh, locally, USA, I was able to get top 50 my last time I tried. And the last time I actually tried, I was able to get top 50. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to see how I'm going to see how far I can get the first one just gonna go all out and every single time after I'm just gonna go all out unless I'm like super busy because the rewards are unique no two rewards are gonna be the same but I guess it also raises the question like what is going to be a reward like a way people are speculating before this whole update kind of came out um, before the news came out maybe you have like a badge kind of like top players do around your XP level and every time you like place top 100 or something it will add like a portion to it which is pretty cool but they said it's gonna be unique so it's not gonna be that way um, and if you think about it there's gonna be a ton of mega crafts like 12 every year so the only way they're gonna be able to fit 12 different icons on a player it's not gonna be attached to your player name player XP level this is our speculation. This is all my opinion, by the way. <laughs> it's gonna be maybe some sort of decoration, like a flag you place down, or they're gonna bring out like a decoration building, and every time you win a certain Mega Crab, it's gonna have a certain icon, and it's gonna put the icon, or it's gonna have a certain flag, and it's gonna put that flag onto this building. That's the way I see it kind of playing out. It's gonna have a separate decoration building, and you're gonna attach some sort of 
graphical feature onto it. It's not going to serve any purpose. It's, it's a decoration building, so troops cannot attack it. Uh, the enemy cannot get or the enemy cannot get GBE from destroying it. Anyway, that's kind of how I see it being played out. Like I said, this is all speculation, and we have no clue how it's going to play out, but that's just kind of how I see it. Um, what else? So I, I kind of, oh, I didn't talk about, like, what I want to see from prototypes. I wanted to talk about that. Right off the bat, I love how they're bringing out prototypes. They're not saying, oh, we just wanted more, more, more prototypes in the game, so we're going to make some more. They're bringing up these prototypes. There's the sole purpose of these prototypes is to combat offense. So I'm guessing out of the five prototypes, uh, oh man, we did not hit that mine. <laughs> this mine right here, I'm so surprised. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I'm guessing it's gonna be, okay, we gotta focus real quick. And I'm guessing it's gonna, each prototype's gonna target like a certain player or a certain type of offensive player. So there'll be maybe an anti-warrior prototype, an anti-Zuka prototype, an anti-Huka prototype, or those could be merged, um, anti-Grenadier prototype. Think about it. All of the prototypes we have now were brought out for the purpose of combating offense. Um, Doom Cannon was brought out to combat tank medic. Um, Hot Pot was brought out to combat warriors. Grappler was brought out to combat tank medic. Shield Generator was brought out to combat Zuka and Hookah. Uh, Laser Beam was brought out to combat Zukas. Um, I don't know about Shock Blaster and Damage Amplifier, but all these prototypes were brought out to combat a certain type of troop combination. And obviously, like, the Shield Generator also combats warriors. But uh, up at a higher level, most people don't use warriors. But uh, anyway... I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, let me know down below what you think about this whole development update they sent out in your mail, your boom box. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. I'm so hyped for this update. I can't wait. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.